In this video, I'll show you how you, simple you can transport SAP Cloud Integration CPI content using Figuff. So here we have created an iFlow. What we can do is we can press synchronize here. And this takes this iFlow and move it into the Figuff tool. And with that, we would have all the different versions of this specific iFlow persisted in the Figuff tool. And later, they will also be moved into a Git repository that would make it easier for us to manage and develop these artifacts. But first off, we need to synchronize it and it will save the version here. Now we can see the synchronization is finished. We got this artifact saved here. What we can do is we can go into it. We can compare versions. We can check versions to see what has been changed between different versions. So we have it as a virtual one. We can drill into to see what are the, the artifacts that's being changed. We also have it as a diffjot GML if we want to see specifically which code changes has been applied here. And all this makes it a lot easier for us to maintain our transports and understand what's going on. We can then create a transport. So we'd assign it to a ticket. We give it a title, we select which landscape we want to use, and we have a number of different options here. Normally you just have one idea and you can link it to a Jira ID and you can describe what you are up to. Now I have my objects and what I can do is I can go to the test cases. I can look up all relevant test cases that we have created for this. And I can take one of these or multiple. Normally, you would take all of them. And I can then run these test cases on it on the system. And this is really easy to set up. Um, the way we do this is by recording messages from an iFlow. And then we send them into the iFlow again. And then compare all the different results to see if they are correct. This takes a little while. So now the test is done. We can go in and we can view the result here. And we can see we get some errors here. We can look at some of these diffs. We can say, okay, there's some, some content here that's different. We can either just go in and ignore this element like this. And then we can process a full comparison again. Uh, and this will compare if we ignore this certain element. And now we can see these are green and probably have some other errors that we would need to go through and do the same thing with. We can also, once we have completed this, go in and say, okay, now this is our new testing result that we want. So next time you run it, it would accept that these changes we have made is correct. And that means we just need to run the test case again. Now we can see that the result of the test is success and we can start the transport. And we can then see what is in the transport. We can open the configuration view here. And here we can configure the configuration from there to the transport system. We can of the QA system, we can replace the names here. We have both manual and automatic replacement. So QA services has been updated automatically. This makes it a lot easier to manage all configurations. And now I can send this data to approval. And as an approver, I have access to view the same comparison so I can see what we are expecting to transport with this new release. We have the same options to do transport comparison here, check out what is different. And we can obviously also know, know the configuration that's being trans changed in this transport and the same for all the other artifacts, comparison mappings, etc. So all of this gives us a good understanding of what is being changed in these uh, processes. I can approve it or reject it. Uh, let's just approve it. And now the, it's possible to import this on the target system. 
So once we will press import, it will first import the object, it will then apply configuration, and then it will start the deployment, uh, depending on what you set up in the, the process. And we can see now it takes a little while for it to process, uh, handling all the configuration. And now we're use, reusing the dev system as a QA system also, where the system automatically adds uh, pre and post fixes to artifacts to enable you actually to to simplify the way you're running of this and now it will synchronize it so we have all the different options uh, and documentation in place in our system so we know this object has been processed in this reason and now we can see we can close it if there's something problem we can roll back we can also create the next ticket in the landscape uh, this will then move us into production landscape. So this is the full process about you transporting from development to queue, and then you do the same thing again from queue to production. And that means we can make multiple different iterations into our QA system. Once we're satisfied with it, we can take the best or the, the complete artifacts and transport it into our productive system apply all the configurations. There's a lot more into it and obviously we got all the documentation done for these things so we can export this and as an Excel sheet upload it into our Jira service now uh, system so we know what's going on with this transport. We can also create documentation of the ICOs, we have monitoring, uh, a good testing tool, all these things that makes it easier for you to manage your SAP integrations. I hope you want to try it out, so go to figaf.com slash devops and try it out. Thank you.